So I just got the MSP430 launch pad in the mail the other day. This is uh, the box there, and this is the, the little board that uh, comes with it. And um, I'm just going to show you how uh, simple it is to uh, put it, some some code onto the chip and uh, and then put it into a breadboard. So I've got up here the um, the Energia uh, IDE. It's uh, if you've ever used processing or Arduino, it'll be familiar to you. It's the same basic setup, but the, the colors are red. And so I just um, took the, the basic blink example that comes with it. I modified it just a little bit to, to blink two LEDs on and off. And um, and so it's, it's if I just go with upload, uh, you can see it down here. It's uh, racing what's already on there, programming it, and uploading it. And we've got the the chip right here, and so you can see on the board the red on green on red green red green on off. So it's just uh, going through just a simple pattern on and off on and off. And so that's that's pretty neat on the board. But uh, the really neat thing is when you take it off of the board, and uh, I've got I've got already set up here the the breadboard. Uh, with a simple circuit and uh, two LEDs to uh, to take the place of the ones that are that are uh, permanently on, permanently on the, um, the the TI board here. So I'll just pull the the chip out of here and drop it into the breadboard. Right here. That's where we want it, and so I don't have a proper uh, holder for my batteries right now. I'm using uh, three double A's. They're uh, these are actually uh, 1.2 volts. You may not be able to make that out, but they're uh, they're rechargeables and they're uh, they're 1.2 volts rather than the the 1.5. So the three of them together is uh, 3.6 volts, and uh, for these uh, these little MSP chips, I'm not sure what the lower bound. I think it might be three volts, and I'm pretty sure the upper bound is uh, it, can, it can take up to uh, 3.6. So the three of these uh, 1.2 volt batteries together uh, in series gives us uh, 3.6. So so that works pretty well, um, except for the back. I'm having to use masking tape to hold the leads on there. Um, anyhow, so if I give this a little bit of pressure and get them together should uh, connect everything oh there we go alright so I think you can see those so on off on off on on off off and that's the same the same pattern that was happening uh, over here on the bottom of this board with the two uh, service mounted LEDs that are that are tiny little ones that are on that Board. We're getting the same same thing going on over here. So that's just a um, very simple demo. Um, really simple code. It's not really uh, doing anything special, but it's just just a simple example, just to illustrate uh, how kind of easy and, and quick it can be to uh, to take your code, uh, program it onto onto an actual chip, and uh, and then start playing around with it with uh, with some other components um, and that's the uh, Texas Instrument uh, MSP430 uh, it's, that's the value line launch pad and it, it came with the, the USB cord here for programming it came with a, another uh, a bunch of other little, little chips and, and things and so um, and it used to be four dollars and thirty cents when I bought it a couple weeks ago it was uh, it was nine dollars and ninety nine cents so I guess they're not selling it at the uh, that cheap price anymore, but ten dollars is still uh, pretty pretty inexpensive for for all the stuff that you get in the kit, and it's it's a lot of fun to play around with. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope uh, hope that uh, is useful. Some oh, and one other thing, uh, just to, something someone else mentioned in a video that that I uh, had been missing is uh, this little. Um, uh, resistor here is going from VCC to the reset pin and um, 
that was something I had initially been missing and, and it wasn't working. And so I, after I watched some videos, I realized, okay, that's that's what I'm forgetting.